So iOS 18.5 beta 4 just finished installing on our 16 Pro Max. And first thing I wanna do, because this was actually much improved in the last release, I wanna show you the heat check. So right after the update, this one is feeling significantly warmer than what beta 3 had. And you guys can see in the typical areas that it gets hot near the camera on the right side there, it's over 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's pretty warm to the touch, needless to say. So it is still running a little warm during those updates. So just something to keep in mind. You will feel that cool or heat to the touch, and it's not cool to the touch as you might have hoped. So first things first, this build did come in at 839 megabytes, basically, and it did download pretty quick and install much better than what some of the other recent updates have. And then jumping into settings, general and about, we can see 18.5 beta 4 now actually has an A build. So after going backwards from last gen uh, update for, to a J build, we are now at an A build with which what really signifies this to be most likely the final beta before we see the RC dropping possibly next week. As we're in an early and every weekly release cycle now, this should be good to go. Hopefully not a ton of bugs are found, and this might be the final build we get for that RC, like I said. The modem firmware is still 1.60.02, so nothing new there at all. But one thing I do want to call out, as I mentioned in my last video, yet again, as soon as we got the update, we got another new and Apple Vision Pro alert here, kind of spamming our desktop and all that, or our, I should say our notifications, so... A little weird there, and since this popped up, I do want to mention that there has been some new splashes loaded here on the homepage for the Vision Pro app, where now it's advertising a new in spatial gallery app to experience new spatial photos from around the world. Last update, we actually saw this uh, advertising and promoting Ted Lasso, so just keep that in mind. And as we're aware, at this point in time, there really has not been very much new with 18.5. We had a couple changes in the mail app for the categories to see that sliding gesture to get all mail categories instead of one by one and the contacts photos ad. And that was really it. And then also in settings and Apple Care and warranty, as of the last update, this was working more fluidly for us. We didn't experience too many issues. And again, you can see it loaded up perfectly fine here to go into the details of all your eligible devices and if they are covered or not or eligible to be covered. One thing that I'm sure is not here, but I do want to check just to be certain is battery intelligence. At this point, I'm fully assuming we will get this with iOS 19. And yeah, you can see nothing new, no battery intelligence coming up here, unfortunately. But again, Hopefully in iOS 19, that will be a thing. It's something Android's had forever. So hopefully iOS gets this very soon. Now, one thing I do want to point out, jumping right into the cameras app, you can see how quickly everything loaded. And then if you want to load up Apple Intelligence, there was some issues last update with this. However, it seems to be working out very well here. Take your photo, do whatever you want. It'll explore it, research it if you wanted to do it, ask it questions. It is working very seamlessly yet again, like we were seeing from prior builds. And actually just kind of scrolling around really quick, everything does look to be hopping about as you would expect. I don't see any jitters. Let's just open an app. Yeah, it's actually flying by. So, so far, so good off of this build. Also, as of the last beta three, CarPlay seemed to be working pretty well. So I don't see any issues with that. And then as far as Apple's release notes go, as they typically do, they just dropped them for beta four. And again, you can see what might have been resolved for the Apple Vision Pro app. You can see the HVS, HVF, excuse me, resolved issues there, security issues that were resolved, a known issue for Siri, store kit, store kit had a resolved issue as well, writing tools had another resolved issue, and that is it. We did also get iPadOS 18.5 beta 4 today, macOS 15.5 beta 4, tvOS 18.5 beta 4, and visionOS 12.5 beta 4, as well as watchOS 11.5 beta 4, although this was not ready to be downloaded at the time I started filming this, so I'm sure it'll be there shortly. But aside from that, that's what we're looking at as far as regular updates go. Make sure you grab those if you're reg registered as a developer. And then, like we said, since we are nearing the home stretch here, April is over, if you can believe that already. 
And then next week is going to be the first Monday in May on May 5th. And we can anticipate the final build or RC provided no new build bugs are found in here on Cinco de Mayo on Monday the 5th. And then possibly a public release on the 12th. It's staying and looking much more likely for that. And then something somewhat newer. We are now actually expecting 18.6 betas. I thought 18.5 would have been it. And we just ride that out until June 9th came around for iOS 19. But it's looking more and more likely around that same week of May 12th that we will receive the first beta for 18.6. So again, nothing new here. Take a look at it. Pick up the download. We'll obviously do a follow-up with battery life and how everything is working with that here in the coming days and performance as well because that's always an outstanding issue. People want to know. Let me know what you think about 18.5, beta 4, or the beta cycle in general down in the comments below and if you're going to install it on your primary device. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.